My name is Sari Alkawanis, and today I'm going to show you a really cool trick on how to do leaves for your paper flowers. Um, this is actually the second part of a two-part um, little peonies series because peonies are like giant and gorgeous and so very, 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 very complicated that um, I decided to break it up just so it wasn't like a two hour how-to video because like who wants to watch that? And because the tips and techniques I have to show you on these gorgeous paper leaves I'm going to show you how to do are really universal. So um, the like template um, that I'm going to be working with today, that is, um, comes in a paper chickadee kit. And I am actually the owner of paper chickadee. I design all the flowers and I do every little detail so you don't have to. Um, but you can definitely, like any paper, you can do this technique with and it's going to just really make um, your leaves really come to life. They're really going to pop with this um, technique I'm going to show you. So I'm really excited. So that's kind of like the two part. Um, this is the second part of the two part series. But I really just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, like if you just wanted to know how to do like these like gorgeous leaves that I'm going to show you how to do, like you don't have to watch like the... 50 minute video that came before. You can just watch this one. <laughs> so let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do <coughs> is get out this leaf sheet. And there's actually this leaf sheet and then the sheet that has the, um, the neck pieces too. But I'm gonna use the full giant sheet because I think it's gorgeous, especially like this back this back piece, I just think it's like so pretty. Like I kind of want to commission some like wrapping paper that's like just these like gorgeous little vein shapes. I just think they're really, really pretty. Um, but anyway, tangent, side note. <laughs> so I have these, um, this sheet that comes in the paper chickadee um, peonies kit. <clears throat> and now I'm gonna get out my foam brush and a little bit of white glue load up that brush with a nice amount of glue. You don't want it like gloopy globby, but you don't want it to be like too thin like because um, basically this layer of glue we're going to put on it will really kind of give it that shiny real life feeling of a real leaf. Um, so that's what we're going to do with this glue right now. So a uh, kind of like not too too loaded up like I said, but <clears throat> you definitely want like a little bit of thickness when you, we put on this glue. So now I'm going to take this glue and I have this sheet of paper um, with the template side up. And if you wanted to like do this without the kit, you could definitely just like draw these leaf shapes. It could be really fun to like trace the leaf shapes or even do a rubbing and color them in and then do this step next. But um, in my kits, the, all the paper is ready to go. It's like the best part of them. <laughs> So I have my glue brush all loaded up and I'm going to pick a couple of these leaves. I'm not going to do all of them in this tutorial. I'm just going to do a couple of them. So I think I'm going to do um, one with one leaf, one with two leaf and one with three leaf just so you can like kind of get the, the feeling for it. But when you do it at home, do the whole sheet all at once. It'll be absolutely fine that way. So I have my brush all loaded up and now I am just going to cover in a nice kind of not the thickest but definitely not totally thin either coat of glue right on the top and if you want to take a look at the um like the vein structure that's printed on it or if you want to like add a vein structure to the ones that you're doing at home if you don't have the kit um you can like use those as a guide to kind of like go like choo, 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 like you know like a V shape with those strokes because those strokes are going to show up because the glue is like a little bit thicker. So I'm going to do that on this one. I'm just going to do a V going that way and then down the other side and I'll load my brush again because I'm doing this little like um, this little three three leaf leaf, I guess I would call it. I'd call it a three petal leaf, but leaves aren't petals. I don't know. I guess I should bone up on my plant terminology, even though I thought I had a pretty good one. So I'm just gonna go up and down just like that and give it like, you know, use that center, use that center um, 
vein as a, a guide, just like that. Awesome, and now I'm gonna do the second one, or the third one, rather. And because peonies leaves, like honestly, peonies le peony leaves do not have very much of that like directionality. Like you see like a lot of leaves that will have that kind of directionality, but peonies really don't. I just wanna show you that little trick. So if you're doing like um, a leaf that really does, you will be able to, um, you know, have another like little trick in your bag. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give that an extra coat. And because, you know, like, this isn't taking the longest, I'm gonna do a couple of others just as backups. And you can really see how fast this goes. We're really just giving a little quick coat of glue to these leaves to, um, for a couple of reasons. We're gonna do this because it's gonna give a little bit of extra weight and heaviness to the leaf, which is gonna make it look more real. It's going to give a shiny side and a flat side, which leaves have. And um, those two things together are really gonna help elevate your leaves so that they don't look like flat paper. So now we're gonna let these dry for a little bit. So, um, you know, get a snack, have a cup of coffee, like go do an errand, come on back, and you'll have these um, all dry and ready to go. So now we have our um, leaves that have been coated in a little bit of glue to give it that weight and that shine. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, just, I'm just gonna cut out for this video, I'm just gonna cut out the ones that I covered in glue. So it's a little bit easier for like me to personally see what's going on um, because we're gonna be dealing with the front and the back um, now. So now I'm just gonna cut out and just rough cut them out um, for sure at first. Just so you can kind of get a feel for what's going on. So I have the ones that I coated in glue all cut out. And I'm gonna show you two different ways to um, do the um, next step, which is gonna be to add the leaves to the stem. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the um, first way to do the leaves and that's the way that I show you in the booklet and the second way I don't explain in the booklet but it's like very similar um, just a little bit more technique involved and I am not sure how much um, how many leaves you're even gonna make because I know that peonies have a ton of leaves in them when you buy them in the stores so I just wanted to provide a lot of leaves in um, the kit too, because it's gonna make them look a lot more lifelike if they're kind of like have a lot of leaves on that stem. But if you don't like doing the leaves and like you don't have to, like no one's gonna notice. So I am just gonna cut out this leaf and just like before, you don't wanna cut right on, um, you don't wanna cut right on the line. You definitely wanna, um, cut into the color of the leaf so that none of that white shows up because um, I made them a little bit bulky just so you would have enough room to cut really cut into that green so you're not going to have any white remaining. And I eliminated any chance of that happening at all on the back because the back is um, full color like at the back is all green but the um, front has a little bit of white just so you know where to cut and to save on like a teensy bit of ink. <laughs> okay, so now I have this leaf all cut out just like that. And I'm gonna add them onto this, um, this flower that doesn't have any leaves on it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fold this leaf right until this kind of stem portion, just like that. And we can do this, give this one a little fold too. Awesome. 
And now we're going to take this leaf and we're going to position it to the stem wherever you'd like it to be. You don't have to be too dear with it. But what you think we're going to do is tape it and like leave some of that stem. We actually don't want that. We want every little bit of the stem part to be attached um, because that's going to give it a little bit more um, structural integrity because um, I'll show you a couple of examples of like when this technique um, and why I made up the second technique um, specifically because like they can get like maybe a little bit floppy. <laughs> so to, <clears throat> to really try to avoid that um, tape it all the way up to where the actual leaf begins. So I'm going to add a little bit of floral tape just like that. And then that leaf's all set to go. And that's the way that I showed in the um, instructional booklet. And that's like totally fine for the most part. Like this one like really looks like it's going to stay good looking for a long time. But if you're really concerned about um, the leaves, you know, looking a certain way and you really want them to be a, um, you know, focal point and you don't want to have to like tear them off or like redo them at all. Um, because sometimes you can get one like this where it gets a little bit like, er, oh no, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> because it's not like, you know, like it gets a little bit droopy. And that's why I developed the second technique I'm going to show you because that droopy leaf is a real bummer and you have to like, you you can, I mean, they're not like the hardest thing to make, so it's not like you're going to like tear off the whole like gorgeous peony bud, you know, <laughs> you're like, oh no, it's not good enough. Like you're going to be able to, um, it's not like the hardest thing. So, um, the second technique is just an option if you want a lot of structure, especially if you're going to like add your peonies to a, um, wreath or something like that, something where you're going to really be manipulating them and putting them back and forth and like, maybe jostling them a little bit more than um, if you were just going to like do a floral arrangement, that's when you're going to want to use this second technique that I'm going to show you because it's going to give you a little bit more structure. <clears throat> so I'm going to use the um, biggest bud or the biggest leaf for this one. Um, and I am just going to, like before, we're just going to cut out the leaf and make sure that you're staying in the green, it doesn't matter how much green um, is left on the paper that you're discarding. That's not a big deal at all. Don't stress about it at all because the more variation that you can create, I try to variate the sizes and shape of the leaves in the template, but like obviously there's going to be like a little bit of re repetitiveness in them. But where you're like, you can add your like little touches, like the leaf shape itself, like, um, like how you decide to cut it out and how much white, um, how much into the green you're going to cut into. That's going to be, um, totally up to you. And it's going to make it look a lot more realistic if you actually, um, leave some of those variations and like let your hand just kind of naturally do what it's going to do. And that's going to look a lot more realistic than if you cut it out, um, and try to be particularly dear with the cutting. So don't even worry about how deep you cut into that green. Awesome. Now that is all cut out and you can see how, um, before the sheet of green had like, was just like a sheet of green with these veins. And now you can see why um, it's like that because the front and the back are gonna line up just perfectly. It's like a really cool little um, like uh, thing that comes with my kits is like, you know, every little detail is taken care of. <laughs> so now I'm just taking a little section of this floral wire and I am going to position it to the leaf just like that. And because this paper is printed on the front and the back, I'm just going to take a little bit of um, extra that I know doesn't have any leaf, actual leaf on it because you can see where the leaves are by where the veins are on the back. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that 
and I am going to add some glue to the white side and maybe a little bit right to that center point so it's nice and laminated in there. Okay, so I have my, I positioned it down into where the glue is. And now I'm just going to cover that, just like that. Now it's going to cover up a little bit of that veining, but um, I don't think anyone's going to notice that. <laughs> now I'm going to flip it around and make sure there's a little bit of, um, there's a little bit of overlap or kind of peeking out of the white side of that little patch that we put on there. So I'm just gonna cut that down a little bit. I have glue all over my fingers. <laughs> it's making it for messy work. Okay. So now I can add a little bit of glue right to that stem part and kind of gradually transition it. by kind of wrapping it around. That's going to give it a nice, a nice transition because um, the stem part of the um, technique that I show you in the book is like in there to um, support the um, leaf, but because the wire is going to take the um, heavy lifting out of the support, this is going to really, um, you can really just like, you know, work it so it's like nice and um, smooth and wrapped around there and nice and round and not flat like um, we did before. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of fold just for some dimensionality. You definitely don't have to do the folds at all um, with this one. You do have to do the folds in the other one because it's the tension between the folded leaf structure and the, um, and the stem itself, like on the um, first one that we put on, that fold is actually giving a certain amount of tension to that paper that's keeping that leaf upright. So, <laughs> so that's just like a little like paper thermodynamics or whatever it's called. <laughs> okay, but I like to add a little bit of, um, a little bit of fold, even if I am using the wire to be the structure and not the tension in the paper, because it makes it look a little bit more dimensional, a little bit more lifelike. And that's really my goal in any of my paper flowers. So now, oh, I missed a little bit of white. Let me just go in there and I probably should be using my paring scissors for this interior work like this, but I'm not gonna. <clears throat> So now, just like before, I'm going to add them to the stem, but because we have that gorgeous wire that's going to be the structural integrity on this leaf, we can um, space it out a little bit more, which like in honesty does make it look a little bit more realistic if we're being, um, if I'm being totally like, you know, straightforward about it. Like the embedding of the wire does make it look a little bit more real, but like minutely like whether or not you wanted to do the stamen part of the peony like from the video before um this is like that you know what i mean like it's a nice but not a must-have <laughs> and if you don't like doing leaves you can just skip it um wrap some paper in it it's a pretty piece of paper that's for sure <laughs> or wrap a wrap a present in it it's a pretty piece of paper <laughs> If you don't like doing the leaves, I like doing the leaves. I think it feels really good to make something that looks so real. <clears throat> so now I have that all attached to the stem and all I am going to do is bend it out just like that. And that is the peony leaves little quick short video to complement the like crazy long video that came before the peony buds and flowers. So I hope you enjoy this little um, video. I am Sarah Yakawanis, like I said, and um, you can get all of the paper that you saw in this video and in the video before in the um, Paper Chickadee um, Paper Peonies kits, and that is available in the link below. Um, but like I said, you don't have to have the kit. 
If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. That's kind of where I get up to like the most fun. And that is at Yakawanis and that is Y-A-K-A-W-O-N-I-S. So yeah, follow me there if you want to like see what I'm up to, um, see what new things are coming up and like different workshops and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just uh, enjoy making something beautiful. Even if, if it's one of my flowers, if it's um, inspired by one of my videos, if it's inspired by somebody else's videos, I just really want to make sure that um, everybody feels comfortable and inspired to make something because it's a really good feeling to make something that pretty. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great day um, and you enjoyed this leaf tutorial.